Hello, transport nerds, and welcome back to Talking Planning. So, as you've probably guessed, I'm a bit of a 90s child, and I certainly remember the transport from that era. And sadly, many of these vehicles are starting to age out. So, I wanted to check out something that's very special to many 90s transport enthusiasts, the Ansair Arana. I have checked out a few Aranas in the past from Duffy's City Buses, Newcastle Transport, Transit Systems, and an ex-Brisbane one from North Sydney Bus Charters, but today, we're checking out a Scania L113 CRL from Transit Systems. During the 90s, State Transit was a huge fan of Arana bodies and they purchased hundreds of them with Scania L113 CRB chassis, 3-axle L113 TRBs, L113 CRL chassis like this one, and B10 BLE chassis. There were also a few rarer vehicles, such as a couple of 0405 ns and the MAN middies. Let's take a closer look at the L113 CRL. This is a prime 90s low floor, the first of which was delivered in 1994 to State Transit, but now all have passed on to transit systems, busways, or been retired and bought by private operators like North Sydney Bus Charters. Some have even been preserved. Hopping inside the interior is pure state transit with the classic graffiti seat fabric and formed plastic bucket seats which are a little firm for longer journeys, but they're not too bad. While I do prefer today's bench seats for comfort, these are fine for inner urban runs, like most of Transit Systems Region 6 services. Up the front, the seating layout is quite a bit different to the typical low floor that we're used to these days. Instead of having flip-up seats right behind the front wheels on both sides, the wheelchair accessible seating is placed right next to the rear door. And yes, that's where the ramp is for boarding as well. So, what's in place of the usual flip-up seats? Well, instead you get a pair of facing seats, which are great for having a chat with friends, but it is right behind or beside the driver, so make it a quiet one. From an accessibility perspective, having the ramp at the back is a little awkward as your entry point is exactly where most standing passengers will be. And if you're not familiar with these older buses and don't have any trip telling you that your bus will be one of these, you'll get to the stop, expect to board at the front door and pranked, it's not that one. in mind, these were some of the first low floor buses delivered in Australia, so they were still trying to refine the ideal layout and it certainly was a lot better for accessibility than the L113 CRB, the B10Ms, SL202s and 0405s that were being delivered around the same time across the country. So let's have a look at the specs of this bus. The L113 CRLs come with the 11 litre Scania DSC 1171 engine with 234 horsepower and they're rated for Euro 1 emissions. So yes, you will get black smoke occasionally and environmentally, well, we've come a long way since then. The gearbox is also just a 4 speed ZF and top speed is limited to 80 which is fine around town, but not so good if you're stuck on the motorway. So let's have a listen now.
it's interesting to think about the era that these buses emerged in. Because when the first L113 CRL, number 3511, entered service in 1994, it was a revolution. But by the time the last of them were delivered in the late 90s, newer designs were on the market with more conventional interior layouts, Euro 2 engines and sleeker body styles. the B10 BLEs, which entered service from late 1997 onward, had a much more conventional interior layout, cleaner engines, and new seats which looked fresher and had a bit more padding as well. My main reason for releasing this video now is that the L113 CRL isn't getting any younger, and with around 60 of them left at transit systems and around 20 at busways, according to the fleet lists, around half of the original 156 produced. Conceivably, with the deliveries of BYD D9RAs at transit systems and busways, getting some more custom dealing elements across some of their other operations, I wouldn't be surprised if the numbers of these old Scanias start to dwindle quite quickly. So in case retirements ramp up, I wanted to have a closer look in case I don't get the chance to further down the line. There are a reasonable number of these around for now, and I caught both on the 438X, which interestingly tends to be served by both the oldest buses at Transit Systems, like this Scania, but also the newest buses, like the BYD D9RAs. You'll also see a few Bendy buses on this service during the week, so if you want variety, it's a good one to check out. CRLs have served Sydney well, unless it's a hot day where they can overheat a lot. These days, with cleaner Euro 6 and zero emissions buses widely available, and much more practical low floor designs, I think many passengers would be happy to swap these old Scanys out for a newer alternative. Still, I do have quite a soft spot for these early low floors, as they were on the cutting edge of the movement to make public transport more accessible, something which I value very highly. So, thank you for joining me, and I will see you again soon.